fam, it's Kristen. Um, I know you probably almost forgot about me because I haven't been uploading a whole lot. Uh, I've been trying to get settled into my house in Nashville. Just, I've been traveling a lot right now. I actually tried to film this video yesterday in this Airbnb that I'm at. If you follow me on Instagram stories, you know this, but there was like drilling and power tools. The freaking hammering and stuff, it was like crazy. Anyways, I thought it'd be really fun to do like a get ready with me style, but like a hair version, uh, because I always do like the makeup on these. And then I just wanted to kind of like chat with you guys about like life. I get asked a lot about relationship advice because of what I've gone through with my divorce. How is it going in Nashville? Am I dating anybody new? And I also thought about doing a series where I like help answer you guys' relationship questions because I see a lot of those in my DMs. I thought that'd be kind of cool. So if you like that idea and you are in full support of that, thumbs this video up, let me know. Today's video is in partnership with Amika. Thank you for partnering with me on this Amika. Holidays coming out and they have sent me some really cute holiday sets. Today, um, we're gonna be styling my hair, by we, I mean me, with the Smooth Operator set. This is a $210 value for $120. This comes free. <coughs> You get the three travel sizes. So you get the uh, straightening brush, which I've used on Instagram before. You can basically straighten your hair without losing volume. You can't burn yourself with it. It's pretty badass. Um, and then you've got the Shield Anti-Humidity Spray, which basically creates like an invisible barrier around your hair to defend against like dirt, pollution, um, and humidity, which causes frizz. And then we've got Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This stuff's awesome because it's not gonna leave a white cast in your hair and it's gonna like, just really like get your get the oils of your hair toned down, cleaned out, whatever. It's dry shampoo. It's not gonna leave a white cast in your hair, which is great, especially if you have darker hair or colored hair. We're always like trying to like get that white out Well, you're not gonna have an issue with this. And then and um, Silken Up, which is great between washes. It smoothens your hair. It's got Pro Vitamin B5 to help again, uh, fight against um, breakage with the hair, which is great because like when you're going between washes and this, your hair can get a little, you know. Um, so that'll smooth your hair out a bit. And it's also um, anti-static. Uh, and then this is a limited edition rose gold little dryer that comes in for free. And you also get this little attachment right here. So this is available at Sephora. Um, and they have a couple other really cute like holiday collections that I'll be talking about soon. This one is what we're gonna be using today. So I've already busted into this bad boy like a few times. I used the hair dryer last night and whatnot. It's like so perfect for traveling. Like hair products take up, hair and skin products take up so much of my travel stuff that I love little minis. So having a hair dryer that's like a mini is so, it's just comes in so key. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair right now and then we will be back to style and talk about the birds and the bees. We're back. I let my hair air dry a little bit. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we'll talk about these as I use them, but this is the Shield Anti-Humidity Spray. Oh my gosh, it matches my nails. That's freaking cute. You can put this on dry or damp hair before heat styling, because it's a thermal protectant as well. I might be going down by the beach today too. My hair doesn't really do too much crazy stuff when it's humid, but if, if your hair does, this stuff's gonna be your savior. Obviously I can't talk while we're using this guy. This has two settings on it too, so you can do low or high. And this is really good for international travel because it's what, I think it's 1200? 1200 watts, so you can use this internationally. is dry. Um, I don't really need to use this, but I do want to protect against breakage. So I am going to use um, Silken Up dry conditioner from like the mid lengths to the ends because I don't need any more breakage. And then these little guys, it's actually my real hair up here. These guys like are so thin and fine and always want to break. So I'm going to put that on those too. Oh my gosh. So Nashville has been so freaking amazing. I've been absolutely loving Nashville. TBH, I've been drunk for like a month straight since I got there. But I, I literally was there for like, like a few weeks, I guess. And then I was out traveling. Um, I was in Vegas and whatnot. So I feel like I, I haven't really had a chance to really settle in. And I've talked about this on Instagram a little bit, but I've been a little bummed because I was gonna save some money and put my studio on the third floor, but it's just too echoey up there. It's like a loft, so it's not gonna work. But I'm gonna use the Perk Up Dry Shampoo just to give me a little bit of body, not to soak up any oil, obviously, just wash my hair, but just to give me a little, like my hair is so fine and um, I like to use the dry shampoo just to give me a little bit of something extra up there, you know, and I'll tease it. 
Um, so yeah, Nashville's been freaking great. I love it. I'm like thinking I need to be a little bit further away from the city because it gets a little crowded for me and the grocery stores are really small. And me like eating so many veggies, it's like the veggie section needs to be like on point. And the veggie section's lacking a little bit in Nashville. So let's talk about dating, shall we? Nothing's official. I'm not like putting that on the internet right now, but I am seeing somebody and I'm pretty fucking excited about it. He's like probably one of the most amazing dudes I've ever met so far. It's crazy. It's like when you come out of a relationship where you don't feel like you were treated right and like you meet somebody who treats you like amazing, it is just so crazy. Like the difference, it's just Oh my gosh, it's it's crazy. It's freaking crazy. Like it feels really good. Like I've never felt more like beautiful in my whole life, I guess I could say. <laughs> I'm use my teasing comb just to give a little bit more body at the root. You guys know how I do it. Like never will walk around with like flat hair. <laughs> so yeah, so that's going really great. Um, unfortunately, well not unfortunately, he lives here in San Diego. So I'm, I'm gonna be here a lot for work at the Arctic Fox office and whatnot. So I feel like it's gonna be fine. Um, also, he's already traveled out to Nashville to see me, which is so sweet and amazing. Yeah, that's what's been going on with me. I think, yeah, I'm thinking I might get a little place down here in San Diego too. I'm like trying to do my hair based on just like this little screen that's on top of my camera. Hopefully this turns out okay. I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about like how to get over your ex and how, you know, I have managed to like go, okay, my eyelashes are poking me, come on, work with me. How I managed to like go through like a divorce and still like keep my head up because my husband left me. I, it wasn't my decision to leave the marriage. So, you know, that's, that's hard. And then whether you're just dating somebody and it's been a short period and really strong and powerful and you're going through a breakup, like I think um, one thing that made it much easier for me, sometimes not everybody gets this opportunity, so I understand that. But what one thing that made it a lot easier for me is that I knew that I had done absolutely everything I could possibly do in my power emotionally, physically, as a wife, like, anything as a partner as a best friend like anything I could have done to try and make it work I I feel like I did that was easy for me in the sense that like I knew that I had done like everything possible to make this shit work and the other person just wasn't giving that back and so like what else do you have to give after that you know like what else is there there's nothing left <laughs> so uh it sounds like a Metallica song so that was one thing for sure and then just what I like to do too is like I like to think about all the things that I didn't like about that relationship or that person and you just remind yourself of that like when I went to the river with my family I was like he hated going to the river. Look how stoked I am. I'm out on a jet ski with a beer in my hand. I don't suggest that. I was I was behind. I wasn't driving. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you remind yourself of all the things that you didn't like about that person. I know it sounds like tacky or childish or whatever, but freaking works, okay? Remind yourself of all the things that annoyed you about them, that you disliked, things that made you feel hurt or not feel not important and you know just whatever those like cruxes of your relationship was like remember what those were and remind yourself about them it it makes it easier and uh, write a list if you have to because i swear some sometimes most times like you start to forget all the bad stuff as a relation like you break up months go by and you're like you go through periods and like up and downs of like yeah screw that person like i'm so much better alone and then you go through times where you're drunk and you're like i'm this is this sucks like i miss that person and as that continues to go the roller coaster gets crazier and you start to forget all of the terrible things and the reasons why you're not together anymore whether it's you broke up with them or they broke up with you whatever like the bouffant going on back here check me out so like, just don't let yourself forget like the reasons why, I guess. Um, like the reasons why you you separated. And, and the other last thing about how to get over someone is like, well, this is a two-parter. Don't like jump back into another relationship. Like give yourself time, like identify and do some self, like I'm gonna link some books for you guys, like in the description box below. But like I had a paradigm shift when I read um, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People and part half of it's about business. So I, I like that. And, but if you're not into business, it helps you understand like what being interdependent is and like, and like just being independent and you can't really be interdependent with somebody and like be in a like, an adult, mature, like loving, healthy relationship. Like if you're not good, like on your own first. 
So some people jump from relationship to relationship just trying to fill that void and the only person that can fill that void is like is you and you alone. Like nobody else can do that for you. So get off your ass and go out in the world and figure out what is going to make you happy. Um, I highly suggest a gym membership, uh, not so that you, you can look like like all svelte or whatever, but um, it releases endorphins in your brain. So when you work out, I feel like I've been freaking doing this for an hour now. <laughs> um, it releases endorphins in your brain and helps you feel really good about yourself. Even if you go and you just start on the treadmill, like do your thing, like just find things that you like to do. Get on um, meetup.org and find some people who are into the same stuff as you. But I'm gonna plug in a straightening brush. My hair's obviously straight and I will put a clip over like just so you can see how well this straightens. Like not straight hair like i did it and i use it in instagram video and it was like my hair was all jacked up and i just went right through it and it was like so straight and so nice um today i'm just gonna use it to kind of like sleekify is that a word sleekify we're gonna sleekify the hair okay so this is the on button right here and then this is the temperature you can see it heating up so you can like lower this. Um, I'm gonna put it at 350 today. I don't really like to put anything above 350 on my hair. Um, oh, speak of the devil. Someone just texted me. If you follow me on Twitter, you know his name, actually. While this is heating up, we'll talk more. Um, so like go out in the world and like figure out things that make you happy and like you gotta reinvent yourself as just you and like recreate that, like whatever that looks like, whatever makes you happy. Like maybe it's cooking, maybe it's like kayaking, maybe it's like doing something that you've wanted to do for a while. You know what I used to do all the time, I still do, is um, I take myself to movies a lot, like by myself and I'll get like, I'll go to one of those like bougie ass ones. I have like martinis and stuff and I'll just like press the little button. I got like a little blanket on and everything. And like I just, would go hang out, spend a lot of time with friends and family who uplift you, people that support your decisions. And I think the biggest thing is just really focusing on the things that make you tick and like that make you stoked and like put a smile on your face. And like sometimes like it feels like, like how could I smile like I'm so upset and so sad? Well, stop feeling sorry for yourself and just it is what it is and you have to just be comfortable knowing that whatever is meant to be is always going to be go off and heal and do your own thing and like then you guys didn't realize this was a counseling session huh i'll invoice you later <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm dumb okay we're ready here even if you're meant to um so you'll run this through like real slow like this even if you're meant to like go off and do your own thing and find yourself again and then you guys come back together you know maybe that's what's meant to be but like just I just trust that the universe is always working in mysterious ways and, and if you're religious God is working in mysterious ways and like whatever it's meant to be is going to be so nothing that you can do and sitting around and being upset about it is is not going to help anything I mean yes you have to like have your cry times and stuff but like get out there and focus on you and like focus on helping yourself like what were some things what are some things about yourself that you want to like work on like take this time as a blessing to like to work on those things like I read some books um uh, audible is an awesome tool like if you travel a lot like I do I love to put self-help books on audible and like listen to them like they really sink in I do have like quite the library of like books on there so like if you guys want any recommendations I guess I'll leave those here too so I think those are like the main things of like how to get over somebody like I think it's less about focusing on getting over somebody and more about finding yourself and like being the best like saving some of yourself for yourself like does that make sense like I think I saw it on Pinterest yesterday and I was like oh hell yeah girl that's exactly it so for me those are the things that I did and I just um would just keep reminding myself about how I felt in a lot of the situations that I was in in my marriage and I was just felt so relieved to not be feeling the way that I was feeling in that relationship anymore and sometimes it's like comes out of nowhere and I get that and I I can't relate to that right now with with what I'm going through everything happens for a reason and you're gonna be okay and you really just need to focus on yourself like that is like so attractive to people like when people can like focus on themselves and like better themselves like it's that's really cool so yeah that that's kind of like that segment of it um if you guys have any like 
quick questions that I can answer, um, leave them in the comments. Um, but like I said, I would love to do like a series where, you know, you, you guys email in or DM or something like relationship questions or just questions about life or business in general. Like maybe we can do different like series or something like business, like, you know what? Oh my gosh, I still never put up the video about how to nail an interview. I wrote everything down and there was one other point that I like came into my head and I lost it and I wanted to put it down before I make that. But yeah, I still need to put that video up. But I think that could be like a fun series. Like, not that I know everything about everything, but a lot of you seem to like really value my opinion, which I think is really cool. And thank you for that. Okay, I think we're just about done here. I have a gynecologist appointment. Um, keeping it real on this channel. Look how smooth my hair is. Oh, it feels really, I wish you guys could feel like, feel this through the screen. Like it feels so good. But thank you guys so much for watching. I feel like I didn't get enough time to talk about more stuff because like that just everything in here just made this like so easy to do so quick. I love Nashville. It's it's great. I love Tennessee. I love the South. I love the people there. I'm actually um, for the first time ever not going to spend Thanksgiving with my family and I'm doing a Friendsgiving. I'm not doing it, but my friend Brian is. He actually sold me my house in Nashville. He's doing a Friendsgiving and so we're all gonna like cook. He's funny, he texted me the other day. He's like, can you cook? I'm like, Told you a thousand times I can cook. Um, so we're gonna do like a Friendsgiving and then we are gonna go to the honky tonks and like super long, like faux fur, like coats. It's gonna be super fun. So that's what I'm doing for Thanksgiving. It'll be the first time that I'm not with my family. I just like, I'm leaving here on the 20th to go back to Nashville. So it just seems like a little, a little too long if I just stay here Thanksgiving too. Like I miss my animals so badly. Anyways, I loved sitting down and filming this um, for you guys. And I just love chatting with you. It's a lot of fun. So thank you guys for watching um, and supporting me by doing so. Again, this uh, Smooth Operator Set Kit is um, available exclusively at Sephora. So I will link that for you guys in the description box below. And we will see you in the next video. Give me some video ideas. I feel like, I feel like a little like, I've been traveling so much and my studio's not set up. I feel like a little fresh out of like creative juice. So let me know in the comments below. I love you guys and we'll see you in the next one.